Hi guys, Master Indigo here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the new GDFO Early Access explaining the rundown video. So this video is also linked down below if you haven't seen this. So the alpha was a really great experience and Early Access is the next step, beta Early Access and leading up to full release whenever that is. But according to an interview with Simon Wicklund, the guy who's speaking here, one of the developers, the early access plan is that the game will launch in early access during December 2019. They don't have any set of dates yet, and I think another source was that the end of the year, so December as well. This might change in the future. Uh, in this video you see in the background, Simon says, whenever the first rundown is complete. And rundown is kind of, I would explain rundown as a season in any other game. Uh, here you can see a picture of the rundown number one. You can see five different missions. A1, B2, B1, C1, C2. So A1 is going to be the easiest mission and the deeper you go, so A is easier, B is harder and C is even harder. So the further you go downwards, the harder the game will get. And whenever you boot up, boot up the game, you will have a rundown in front of you. A set of missions you can choose from and here we can see random one at least on this video will be five different missions Simon explains that whenever there's a rundown it's kind of, as I said it's kind of like a season you can play these complete these the season or rundown can last two weeks or it can last two months depending depending on the amount of content it has so maybe if there's five missions it's going to last two weeks. If there's 10 missions, it's going to last a month or something like that. And obviously, you can see here TRC is locked. It's a harder mission, so it looks like you have to complete some of the easier missions or maybe all of them in order to progress to the TRC, which is a lot harder, harder than anything like that. I don't think they have really announced any pricing information about the game or and if like that, they have only said that this will not be a full price game ever. So it's not going to be 60 dollars, 60 euros, anything like that. Uh, and it's going to be cheaper during early access, so something like that. And they are also explaining during this video that there will be no microtransactions. And if the base game sales don't support the developer enough, they might add pearly cosmetic DLC that will have absolutely nothing else, just like a support uh, developer, just cosmetic weapon skins perhaps, for maybe a different model for your weapon or something like that, but pearly cosmetic, nothing else, that's their current plan. And I actually believe then, I do think Oof and Simon kind of left Starbreeze because, partly because of their issues with microtransactions and so on, but anyways, here the season is five missions in the picture here they are explaining if you don't play these during the rundown the season you will never be able to play them up again so you will play during season one and during season two there will be always a different amount and different missions and i do like the idea of the seasons that there's always like every Every few weeks, every few months, there's new missions to choose from, new ch missions to play. But I don't like the fact that they are gone uh, whenever there's a new run down. I think you should keep the older missions. I kind of like in the upper panel, you could choose which run down to choose from. So if you have a good memory of playing a like with your friends during season one, you come back on season five, run down five. And you can't play those old missions you have fond memories of. You can only play the new ones. So maybe have it so after you have completed all the new ones, you can go back to the old ones as well. Maybe that's something. Or maybe just have all the rundowns available at all times. Because I feel like uh, this, that you are adding more missions, expeditions, run the new rundowns, every few weeks, every few months, is a really good idea, and I really like this idea. Uh, and as I said, I don't just like the idea of not being able to play all the content that 
the game developers have created. So maybe have a way of playing those older missions as well. Because adding more content is good, but if you're taking all the content away, the game never has tons of content. It has a decent amount of content, but if you're taking away the older missions, older expeditions, the size of the game doesn't really change. Only it only keeps getting fresh. But like if you want to do challenge videos, solo runs, things like that, you're limited to the run down time. And you can never play that again. And sometimes people have just times when it whenever they can't play. And it would be a really bad idea, if, I think, to limit them only be playable for a few weeks because sometimes I can't play for a month and I would be a little bit sad if I couldn't play the new missions later on down the line because there's already an, an, another set of missions run down 4, run down 5 and so on. I don't know. I do like the idea of new missions, new expeditions, a rundown or a season concept but I would like an option to play those older missions, older rundowns as well. That's all I have to say about this. Uh, I will p keep making videos about GDFO if I keep playing it. I currently don't know when I have time, what I, how much I'm able to produce content on this game. It depends on the gameplay loop. Obviously the gameplay is a lot longer than payday missions and so on. The guide videos and things like that could be possible. But obviously if they are rundown focused, there has to be new rundown tutorials every season and things like that. I don't know. We shall see. I'm not making any promises on content on this game or any other game. I'm just doing whatever I please. Anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you guys are all having a good day. I'll see you next time. Master Indigo, signing out.